Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chris. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a table saw sled that uh, I made for my new table saw. Uh, it integrates the match fit clamps and I have an aluminum uh, rail on top of my fences. Uh, speaking of fences, I actually have two of these. So one is gonna be for uh, 90 degree cross cuts and the other one is gonna be for 45 degree bevels for box parts only. So it is a very specific um, minor sled. Uh, so uh, both these a little bit different build, but they have a lot of similarities, but I'm going to take you through both of them and uh, Definitely uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, there's a couple things that I might improve later But if you guys have any suggestions definitely leave them down in the comments uh, But uh, without further ado, let's get to the build We'll start off the project with drawing out rough dimensions on paper And I am aiming for a 20 inch by 30 inch crosscut sled I'm using a piece of three quarter inch Baltic birch, and this isn't the really good stuff. This is more from the big box store, but it works just fine for what I'm doing. So I'll cut down on the tail saw a 20 inch by 30 inch piece, and then the excess from that sheet of plywood I'll use for the fences because I'll be doubling those up and cutting them at uh, roughly two and five eighths, uh, and I'll sandwich two together to get, you know, to make it more rigid. And we'll glue up the pieces to make up the fence and we'll only glue every other face. That way we can clamp both fences at the same time, but we're not gonna accidentally glue them together. And while we're waiting on that to dry, I'll go ahead and mill up some hardwood runners and we'll mill those down to fit right in the miter slot. Look at that, first try. And then after that, we're going to uh, cut them down to three eighths of an inch uh, and I'll actually go just a hair under three eighths of an inch. That way they don't sit proud of the miter slot. And I'll put some washers underneath it when I glue it up. That way it pushes it up to the base of the crosscut sled. Once we get this all out of the clamps, I'll scrape the glue down and then we're gonna run both sides through the drum sander just to get it really nice and flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some marks down uh, to show exactly where the dovetail grooves will be. But where it's really cool is when you put all these marks down and then you still miss your mark and you put it in the wrong space. I'll grab some scrap pieces of plywood and quickly put together a straight edge just so my router can write against it. And that'll just be for this project so it doesn't have to be anything pretty. I'll use my small palm router with a straight bit uh, to route a little more space just so that those clamps can drop in so they don't have to come in from the end, they can come in from the top. I'll square up the ends of the both of the fences and then I'm gonna cut a rabbit uh, on the front fence, the fence that my hands will ride on, uh, and that will be so it can accept the aluminum T-track, which you'll, you'll see in just a second. For some reason, I didn't record it, but I put small washers under the hardwood runners to lift it up slightly. And then I'm gonna super glue it, set some weight on it, give it a few minutes, and then I'll lift it up, flip it over, and then I'll uh, pre-drill and put some small screws in to hold it in permanently. Now I'll attach the front and rear fences. I'll start with the rear, I'll go ahead and button it all the way up. But then on the front one, I'm just gonna put one screw and then I'm going to hold the other side in place just to get my initial kerf cut through it. Off camera, I cut a 1 8 inch thick piece of hardwood that I'll use to set right in this kerf that I just cut. And this, oh yeah, fits right in there. solid. With the hardwood piece set in the kerf, it's a little bit easier to put a square up against it rather than trying to hit the front back tooth of a blade. So it makes it much easier to square up. Thank you. 
Once we wax the bottom of the sled, we gotta check to make sure it slides. It does. Now the sled is ready to test out and I have a glued up uh, panel. It's a cutting board made out of walnut and doing it this way, I'm gonna make an end grain cutting board. The next sled is the 45 degree miter sled, which will be for making box parts. And basically it's the same process all the way up until we cut the bevel off of one side. The actual base of the sled will be considerably smaller and you just base that off of the size box parts that you normally make. And hey, look at that. From the first half of the show, it's our miter sled. So we actually get to use it to build the second sled. One other difference between the miter sled and the crosscut sled is I'm only going to use one runner because of the size of it. It really doesn't need two, so one runner would be just fine. And same as the first sled, uh, cut out dovetail grooves for the match fit system and space them about four inches apart. That seems to have worked well for me. Make sure your blade is at an absolutely perfect 45 degree angle and go ahead and cut through the sled to establish that first line. Don't worry about the fence, it'll probably get cut through again. And with the exposed edge, it's super easy to take a good quality square and square up your fence to that. And adjust the fence until you get it perfect. And same as before, cut into the fence to make room for the aluminum T-Track. Now to grab some small scrap pieces that are milled perfectly flat and straight on both sides. And we will go ahead and uh, establish a 45 degree uh, miter on one side, set our stop, cut the other side, and then test them out. And by the way, these corner clamps are absolutely awesome for clamping up boxes. And there you go, perfect miters. Check out how tight those corners are. It's exactly what you want. So there you have it. There are my two new miter sleds for my new table saw. Definitely let me know if you guys see anything that you would like to see changed, or maybe you did something different, or maybe that you have a better uh, flip stop than I do. Um, I'm not totally happy with those, but I do like the functionality of them. Um, like them to be a little more rigid. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell in case you guys want to see future videos. And speaking of future videos, these sleds will be in action in the very next video because I'm gonna be showing how to use scraps from your shop to make Christmas gifts for your family. So uh, a lot of cool little uh, you know ideas, tips, tricks, stuff like that that'll be in that one. So uh, I look forward to showing you guys that. Uh, thanks for watching my video and I'll queue up a few extras like here and here. Um, like here and here. There you go. <laughs> uh, so go check those out until my next video is out. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.